So we're here trying to understand exactly how the population size of the Vikings who lived here changed over the 1500 years or so that they were farming the land and working with iron, this period called the Iron Age. What we do is analyze the lake sediments and how they've changed through time. And we can look for traces of the waste from livestock. We can look for evidence of changes in the vegetation. We can look for evidence of changes in how much turf was being burned. And we can use this information to try to understand how the footprint of the Vikings on the landscape changed during the course of the 1500 years that they were here. The main research questions that we're really driving at are how did climate and other environmental changes impact the Vikings during the Iron Age? We know that during that time period that there were significant changes in temperature and uh, local sea level changes that could have impacted agricultural activities that were going on as well as the location and accessibility of different harbor locations. People have been farming here since about 2,500 years ago. There's evidence for that in the archaeological record. There's also some evidence for that from landscape disturbances that we can see in lake sediments. The climate of the Lofoten Islands is a little bit different than you might expect for something that's at the Arctic Circle. It's actually quite warm here. And that's because the, uh, the extension of the Gulf Stream carries a lot of warm water and warm temperatures that bathe this area and make it a lot warmer than an equivalent latitude in Canada, for instance. The Lofotans are a, are a pretty marginal environment, so climate changes, just a few degrees in either direction, can really change the ability to farm the landscape here. The summers here are short, so there's a short growing season, and a few cold years in a row could really be enough to devastate a settlement. Fishing in particular and other, other marine resources were critical for survival, even during a period where people are traditionally thought of as being agricultural. I think marine resources played a, a, an extremely important role in everyday life and survival throughout the year and it was a dependable resource. We do know that northern Norway was a particularly important uh, region for fishing and trade and export of some of these resources at that time, and that there was a pretty abrupt transition at the end of the Viking Age into the medieval period. Sea level in general in Lofun was a bit higher, not dramatically higher than it is today, but maybe a meter higher in most locations. So as a result of even this one meter lowering in sea level, that could have dramatic consequences for their ability to come through these narrow passages into these shallow draft harbors that they were dependent upon to get their fishing boats out and in. There are other factors that played a role in sort of collapse and the end of the Viking Age around here. Social changes, the political structure in Norway, and influence of changes in religion of the people at the time. So there's no doubt that it wasn't only environmental changes, but I think there is evidence that the environmental changes, both sea level and climate, uh, were likely impacting them as well. The lessons that we can learn from research like this is looking at how people in marginal locations, you know, how susceptible are they to changes in environmental conditions? How well did they adapt to them or not adapt to them? And there's places today where people are living in marginal environments and are being impacted by climate change today. And this gives us a little bit of a longer term perspective on how this has influenced societies in the past. I think it's, it's important to study how humans have interacted with their environments in the past, how humans have interacted with changing climates in the past, to give us some optimism with the way that we can potentially deal with changes that are coming our way. People have been continuously living here for the last 10,000 years, and certainly it's, the region has undergone tremendous amount of climate change in that time. But of course, the lifestyles have changed to suit the climates. That's something that people are gonna have to, have to deal with, changing our lifestyles to accommodate changing, changing climate.